Hi, how are you today? Thank you for sharing. Well, today I'm going to read a story out of this textbook. It's called Reading for Christian Schools. This is from Bob Jones. He's the third grade reader. And this story is Grandma Tiddly's Music. Tildy's Music. Creak, 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 creak. It was Monday. Grandma Tildy rocked back and forth. Her hands knitted the wool faster than a boy could reel in a fish. This will make a nice winter hat for Sammy, she thought, smiling to herself. She hummed a little tune to the rhythm of her rocker. Creak, creak. On Tuesday, Grandma Tildy took the hat to Sammy. Creaky squeak, creaky squeak. Grandma Tildy's old brown shoes squeaked a song with every step she took. Creaky squeak. Whirr and ping. Whirr and ping. It was Wednesday. Grandma Tildy sat at her old sewing machine. Her hands nimbly sewed a seam here and a tuck there, a dart here and a hem there. This will make a nice dress for Mrs. Hopper's new baby, she thought, smiling to herself. She hummed a little tune as she sewed, whirr and ping. On Thursday, Grandma Tildy took the baby dress to Mrs. Hopper. Creaky squeak, creaky squeak. Grandma Tildy's old brown shoes squeaked a song with every step she took. Creaky squeak, creak. Click a click. Click a click. It was Friday. Grandma Tildy stirred and mixed, patted and rolled. She made ten pies. Four apple, two pumpkin, three cherry, and one banana. My friends will like these pies, she thought, smiling and humming a little tune. Click a click, click a click. On Saturday, Grandma Tildy delivered the pies. Creaky squeak, creaky squeak. Her old brown shoes had a lot of singing to do that day. Creaky squeak. Did Grandma Tildy's shoes rest on Sunday? No, sir. Creaky squeak, creaky squeak. Down to the little white church they took Grandma Tildy. Creaky squeak. At the church, the townspeople gathered around Grandma Tildy. We love you, Grandma Tildy. You are so good to us. They hugged her. They kissed her. They said nice things to her. Everyone loved Grandma Tildy. Everyone, that is, except Mrs. Upjohn. Humph, she said, sticking her nose in the air. Who does she think she is? On Monday, Mrs. Upjohn's went to the Smith's house. On Tuesday, Mrs. Upjohn went to the Little's house. On Wednesday, Mrs. Upjohn went to the Hayes house. On Thursday, Mrs. Upjohn went to the Frank's house. On Friday, Mrs. Upjohn went to the Bland's house. Every place she went, she said the same thing. You know, Grandma Tildy does nice things, she would say. Then, cupping her hand to her mouth and lowering her voice, she would go on. But the creak, creak of her rocking chair, the whir and ping of her sewing machine, and the click a click of her egg beater are disturbing this town. That awful creaky squeak of her shoes and the little tune she hums upsets everyone. How selfish she is to make such noise. There is no peace and quiet when Grandma Tildy is around. It ought not to be allowed. The townspeople stop to listen to Mistress Upjohn. The crick, crick, whirr and ping and the click a click began to bother them. But it was the creaky squeak and the little tune that really got under their skin. Hmm, 
That's interesting. It didn't bother them before. And then Mrs. Upjohn started making some trouble. Hmm. Well, that's not very nice. Grandma Tildy, they said at last, you must stop rocking and sewing. You must not use the egg beater. And do not, do not wear those old shoes and hump. There's no peace and quiet when you are around. Grandma Tildy looked at the people sadly. She went into her house and shut the door. The people of Pottstown listened. They did not hear. Creak, crick, whirr, and ping, or click a click. They did not hear creaky squeak or the little tune. Good, said Mrs. Upjohn. Now we will have peace and quiet. Monday passed. There was no sound from Grandma Tilly's house. Tuesday passed. Still there was no sound. On Wednesday, the townspeople began to gather. Do you think Grandma Tildy is all right? Miss, uh, Mrs. Upjohn snorted. Hmm, she's just myth, that's all. On Thursday, people began to stroll past Grandma Tildy's house, hoping to hear something, at least. On Friday, the people began to talk. It would be good to hear Grandma Tildy's rocker going creak, creak. Or her sewing machine saying whir and ping. Even the sound of her egg beater would satisfy me. Mrs. Upjohn started to speak. But the peace and the people of Pottstown looked hard at her. And Mrs. Upjohn didn't finish her sentence. Early on Saturday, all of Pottstown was gathered at Grandma Tildy's door. Except Mrs. Upjohn. Grandma Tildy, they called. We would like to hear your rocker go creak, creak. The door opened a crack. We would very much like to hear your sewing machine go whir and ping and your egg beater go click a click. The door opened wider. But most of all, we would like to hear the creaky squeak of your shoes and your little tune. Those sounds are like music to our ears. The door flew open. All day, the people of Pottstown listened to the creak, crick, whir and ping and click a click coming from Grandma Tildy's house. They listened and they smiled. The next day was Sunday. Creaky squeak, creaky squeak. Grandma Tildy was on her way to church. She had a new scarf for Tommy, a birthday cake for Susie, and a pretty new apron for Mrs. Upjohn. Hooray, shouted the people. Creaky squeak. Ah, that was a nice story. Mrs. Upjohn was not a very nice person. But she learned that sometimes a little bit of noise is okay. Because it meant that Grandma Tildy, they missed her. They loved her. And she was an important part of their community. Well, I hope that you like that story. And I hope that you have a great day. Bye.